Ndio nikawaambia juzi. That's why I told you that. Kuna watu wanatabu humu. The people are suffering right here. Wanataka ameunga madhambi leo. They want to confess it and leave it. Asiki mgongo umenyamaza. To feel the bones okay. Kimenyamaza. The chest is okay. Kila mahali pa menyamaza. Every part of the body is okay. Yeye anaamini moja. He believes in one side only. Pepo hatakupa nafasi. The devil won't give you that chance. Ni wewe usimame imara. It's upon you to be firm. Kuamini Yesu. Believing Jesus. Alikuja. Came. Niwe na uzima niwe na hotel. I have a banner life. Dhiki iko. Tribulations are there. Udhaifu uko. Weaknesses are there. Lakini usimame kwa nani. But to stand in that to mungu dhaifu. Don't commit sin to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unamema yote. You have all good things with you. Usimutende mungu dhaifu. Don't commit God sin. Mwana wengi wajapofanikiwa. Because many though they succeed. Wajapoona kila njia ni sawa. Whenever they see everything directed. Hawana kutii mungu. They don't obey God. Mtutezi wako atakuwa nani kesho. Who will defend you tomorrow? wanamtafuta Mungu wakati dhiki imekuja at a time of problems dhiki imekuja when problems come Mungu. so you seek god sasa Mungu anashangaa now god is surprised ulipokuwa na kufanikiwa when you had succeeded na kuona kila kitu ni sawa and everything was okay with it haki. you never did righteousness na haki ndio huinua tena and righteousness exalted a nation ndio tuona shida za shida za mtu kama yeye zikija that's why when problems come such to a to such a person when Mwombe, you will pray you will pray and ndugu huyu dada huyu and fell this brother this sister mana here. because wakati at a time alikuwa anakufanikiwa he had succeeded katika uzima in life katika njia zake in his ways katika biashara zake in his business katika mashamba yake in his farms hakuwatenda haki he never did righteousness Ale. Mwenu wataifa Mali dhambi ni haiku ya watu mungu